Okay, hello everyone. This has to be the most special, crazy whirlwind of a video that I'm ever gonna post. The video you're about to watch is my Love Island experience before going on the show, the process, the journey I went on. The moment I kind of had an inkling I was auditioning for Love Island and going on the show, I thought I'm gonna film everything. And just in case it happens, I've got a log of memories to look back on. Here we are. Some bits might not make sense. Some bits might not link up. Some dates might be just out of time, but just bear with the footage. I hope you all love it. And yeah, come on this amazing journey with me because you're gonna literally see Molly before Love Island getting excited about her first audition, finding out I'm actually going on the show. Like, you're gonna see bits and bobs. But enjoy this video, it's gonna be a special one. It's a bit different to my weekly vlogs, but I hope you enjoy it. And yeah, let's get into the video. Okay. Okay, so it is Tuesday the 21st of March. I'm doing this video just in case anything comes of this. I have just submitted my application for Love Island. Now, I got asked to do my application this year. My manager was like, Molly, you should do it. I've been on the call with ITV and they want you to apply, blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, no, I can't do it. I've always loved the show, but I've never actually been like, yeah. I've been in relationships, I've been happy. I just, it's never been a thing to actually do the show. Don't get me wrong, when I was 18, I just turned 18, I applied for the show. And I was all about it. I was like, I want to go on Love Island. Like, that's what I want to do. Like, who wouldn't? And I got a boyfriend and I was so, so happy. It never crossed my mind. Was not interested. I worked with ITV. I went out to both villas, Mallorca and South Africa. It was absolutely amazing. I was in a relationship and it was just never a thing. Now I am single. It is 2023 and it is now March. And after my management being like Molly, they'd love you to go ahead with your application. I was like, you know what? Yeah. So I've just sent off my application and I thought I would log it on here. Because if something comes of this, like what a cool video to look back on. Um, if I ever post it, like this might not even go anywhere. I might not even hear back from this application and like this is a waste of time. But I'm doing it just in case. Because I have a really good feeling. I have a really weird feeling. I messaged Tom and Liv yesterday on the train and was like... I'm gonna do my application and I have a really weird feeling about Love Island this year. I am now just gonna message my manager and say I've completed the application, like you can let them know that I've gone ahead with it. And yeah, we'll see if this video actually like carries on into anything or not. To shine some reality into this exciting manifestation video, I've got COVID. I feel shit and I'm watching people's Love Island experiences just to manifest. This is Millie Courts and she said she found out on May the 7th that she was going into the villa. So I'm manifesting that. I've just popped it in my diary and it's going to happen. But right now, feel and look like death. If I was seen like this on a live television, I think I'd be single for the whole time I'm in there. Anyway, just thought I'd have COVID and watching people's Love Island experiences just to keep the energy going. I'm giddy but I feel like shit. Okay guys, I have spent the past two days literally in bed. I have COVID, I feel like crap. Everything about life right now, I hate. I'm in such a low shit position. In every single way, I feel shit. Um, anyway, just got a text. It's seven o'clock on the 23rd, so Thursday the 23rd of March. And my manager has just sent me a email screenshot um, and it's from someone at ITV. It says, great news that she's applied. I'll get one of the team to book her in for an audition tomorrow. I'll let you know once we've booked her in. So I cannot believe that. But I'm really giddy and I'm getting lots of messages in the group chat right now um, with my management. So I'm going to read them and not let myself get too giddy because we shouldn't. But this is very good for my mindset right now, even though I look like... If I get into the filler, this is what everyone's going to see. A little update for the Love Island vlog. Ah! It is Zoom audition day. It is Friday the 31st of March. It's half past two and I'm about to do my Zoom audition with the casting team. Ah, I feel sick. I absolutely feel sick. I've gone for a beachy vibe. Um, very myself, very me. I'm just waiting to go on the call with them. I feel sick, but I'm so excited. Ah, wish me luck, manifesting. 
Okay, another update to this video, excuse what I look like. It is Thursday the 6th of April and I've just received some forms from Love Island um, on email. I've received three forms that I need to fill out and send back ASAP. One is a health questionnaire, one is a criminal record check, and one is more information about my dating history past what I'm looking for and really in-depth questions which is so exciting it's literally making me feel sick because I'm so excited but then I don't want to get too excited and so many emotions right now but the show starts in like two months time like oh it makes me feel sick but I'm so excited i want to do it so bad um so yeah i'm going to fill out these forms and send them off but really exciting that there's been like another step to the process it's just feeling really really successful and i have a really good feeling about it so it is now tuesday the 11th of april and i received an email asking to complete a social media check it's all feeling so real and i'm getting really good positive vibes from the universe so many signs from my angels and manifesting and oh my goodness got this email today and it literally says from from love island itv casting hi molly as you're aware from our earlier conversation we require all potential candidates to complete the necessary background checks before appearing on the show so i've just completed my social media checks and again it's just the waiting game and hopefully the next time I update you will be when I get some successful news. Guys, I'm currently at Alton Towers. I've got to update this vlog. I've just had a missed call. It is Friday the 14th of April. I looked like this. It's raining at Alton Towers. And I've just had a missed call from ITV. I rang them back and they want to meet me in person next week to meet the producers. <gasps> I don't even know what to do right now. Right, I'm gonna go on Gangster Granny. Um, and then hopefully when I next see you, it'll be when I'm going to the casting ah! okay love island update so it's tuesday the 18th of april and tomorrow is the day that i'm going to meet the producers in person at the itv studios yes i am in panic mode i've literally just gone and got some foils put in my hair so my hair's nice and bright just like my application was this is what my room's looking like an absolute tip of what to wear i am so stuck i'm literally panicking do you know like when you just think i had plenty to wear and now i literally can't find one thing and i'm just completely panicking so it's absolute panic mode i'm pale i need to tan wash these highlights out my hair find an outfit and feel better for tomorrow i need to get up in the morning crimp my hair and then set off for my train, which is at half past eight. So it's gonna be an early morning. And getting there like glam, I'm gonna surely get there and feel disgusting. Oh my God, I'm overthinking. I'm so excited. Ah! Oh my goodness. So I have just got back from London. I've just had my in-person meeting with the exec producers. I'm gonna sit down for this. Excuse what I look like, because I have just been on the train, running to the train a lad. Almost gonna be late. I'm in my outfit underneath here, throw my hoodie on, got my new balance on and ran. But it absolutely went incredible. I've got such a good feeling. I literally feel like it's gonna happen. I honestly think I'm gonna get on the show and I'm gonna be in an original. Today, everyone I met was so nice and kind. I had the best time ever. I just feel really good feelings. Could be really awkward if I don't, um, because I've video logged everything. Ooh, video logged, vlogged everything. But this part is gonna be quite a big segment of this video because I'm gonna explain the process of what I did today. So I got to the ITV studios. I met someone outside from the casting team. They took me upstairs. I sat on my own for quite a while, about 20, 30 minutes. Um, my appointment was at half 11 and it was about 12 o'clock now when, or just like five to 12 when I actually went over to meet someone. So I went and met a guy from the casting and he just sat and spoke to me. He was just checking that if I get on the show, am I happy with being called Molly? How would I feel after the show? Um, if successful today, when I will hear back? All these little things just to check in up. Um, management, um, what I do for work with availability for the show and all these little bits and bobs. He was lovely. I sat again on my own and he was like, we'll let you know when we're ready. Um, another 20 minutes went by and I went into a room with two people. Um, I can't remember their job titles, but they were something to do with producing the show. So I went into a room with two people and there was a camera there and I just spoke. I spoke and spoke and chat, 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 chatted away about me, dating, everything, literally about life. 
these two people were really really nice they were quite young actually um really really sweet i just spoke to the lady I didn't look at the camera i ignored it um and yeah and literally just spoke about so many topics and then at the end she just got me to stand up and she panned the camera from my feet all the way to my head I blew a little kiss, a little ha ha ha, and then it went back down to my feet, and then she did it one more time, and then I left. Um, really, really nice. I thought that was it. So I get outside, just sit back in this booth, and they are like, okay, well, we'll just sit here for a bit, and then um, it'd be great to take you to the next room. I didn't know there was a next room. So I'm literally sat there thinking I'm ready to go and get my train. Like, oh, this is early. Um, but I was really, really happy with it. I could have left and been really, really happy. Um, but then they're like, right, you're going to go into the next room and you're going to meet three exec producers. And there'll be a bigger camera. They'll be sat there, but just be yourself and do exactly what you did in that room and just talk, like lead the conversation. And I was like, I've got it. So I was really giddy now. I was like, I'm going in again. This is fun. Um, I'm going to go and meet three exec producers. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then one of the guys that I knew from the Love Island press trips walked around the corner and I was like, oh my goodness, it's so good to see you. I had a chat with him. He was just literally so happy to see me there. I was so happy to see him there. I've only seen him in Mallorca in South Africa. And then I saw him, so that was really, really exciting. And then I went into the room and yeah, there's a big camera, three lovely people there. They were so kind, they made me feel so relaxed. I literally could just be myself, it was amazing. So I went in and had exactly the same conversation as before, but just with the exec producers and a little bit of a bigger camera. And I literally just spoke for England, like I did not stop, a bit like now. Talking about history growing up, talking about dating, worst dates, best dates, what I look for in a guy, what my friends think about me, interesting funny stories. Also, that's kind of on the original application. It went really well. We spoke for a long time and they asked really nice questions, like not just about dating. So like I mentioned my musical theatre background. They were asking what theatre I did and what I played in them and went in more in detail with like my influencing. And it was really good to talk about stuff like that and not just dating as well. So that was quite nice. So then one of the execs said, um, from now, basically the show will start in June, the first week of June. All contestants will be flied out. Um, flied out, flew out, flew out. I don't know. We'll be flown out at the end of May, so the last week of May, everyone will be flown out, and you will find out if you are successful or if you are not the first week of May. Um, so basically, they'll be in touch either way if you're successful or if you're not. At this point of the application, they're going to tell you yes or no, so you'll find out you won't be left in the dark, which I really like. But I had a really good feeling, getting really excited. Um, she also said if successful, the next thing that you would do is go for an in-person medical, so get your bloods taken and have a Zoom with a psych for an hour. Um, and that would be the next stage of the process. So then I left and I got my train home. My dad picked me up. Phone rings. I have literally just come out of the room about two hours ago and I had a phone call from my TV. And this was one of the lovely girls saying, hi Molly, um, really good, exciting news. The execs love you and would love to book you in to come for your medical on Bond Street and book you in for an hour call with the psych. Psych! And I was literally just like, dad was in the car, put her on speaker and I was like, oh my goodness. I found it on the same day for the next step of the process and I think they're moving quite quick with it and I feel like next week they're going to be pitching the original Islanders and in my head I'm kind of thinking that they probably want to get me, hopefully, get me in for the medicals as soon as possible before they pitch the original lineup. I'm hoping I'm in for the original lineup. I would do anything to be on Love Island, like anywhere, Casa, Bob Michelle, whatever, but my dream would to be an original and have such a good feeling about it. I keep seeing 444, which are my angel numbers, and I have such a good feeling about it, like they're telling me these good signals, and I feel it, and it just all feels so right. So yeah, I am booked in on Friday. Today is Wednesday, really quick. Booked in on Friday at half past two for a medical in London, and then come home for uh, quarter past seven, a zoom call with the psych from ITV. I just can't believe it. I'm so excited. And then after that, if all of that goes well and my medical and my tests and everything go well, then I'm going to find out if I get on the show or not. And that's all there is to it. I just can't believe it. I'm really proud of myself. I'll update you on Friday when I'm going for my medical, but guys, it's feeling really real and I'm really excited. I want to do it so bad. I thought I'd quickly just show you as well, this is the outfit that I wore for my 
in personal edition. I absolutely love it. I feel great in it. It's so gorgeous from Opoly. It's a long skirt, long arms, bit booby, bit belly. -y. Love it. And then I just had my hair like really messy in like a claw clip. This is what I wore. Okay, I'm gonna breathe now and I will catch you on Friday. Hi guys, so it is now the 21st of April and I'm about to head to London for my medical and my, oh my, my psychs later. Um, so I'm going to London, I'm going for my medical which is at half past two. I'm gonna get my train and then I'm gonna get my train straight back because I need to get home for an hour Zoom call with the psych. Today is such like a, an exciting day because it's one step closer to finding out if I'm getting on the show, what I'd be on the show. But it's also like not a nervous day, but it is because it's like medical and like, oh, I get really funny with getting my bloods taken and all that stuff. I'm really excited, but also I don't need to be nervous because I'm not there to impress anyone. I'm not trying to like, you know, I wanna be on the show, like this is me. Do you know what I mean? It's just very like, just go do your medical and we'll, we'll see from there. So ah, I'm really excited, little bit nervous, but it's one step closer to just finding out and I'm just so giddy. So I don't know when I'll next update you, but it might be after the medical, it might be when I'm going in, I'm not too sure, but I'll do my best. Okay guys, so I've just got home. I've realised I say okay guys at the start of every little clip, I'm sorry. Just got home, medical went really well, I'm proud of myself. I never really got a chance to get my camera out when I got there. I literally got off the train, went straight to the medical, was in there, straight out, back on the train and got home. I literally just spoke through things that I kind of filled out on the form anyway. Got my bloods done, which I was really proud of myself. Did my little pee sample, which was really easy actually as I need the toilet. But yeah, the doctor was absolutely lovely. Um, spoke through everything, really relaxed and that was it really. So now I've just got home and I got an email about my psych call which is, I don't think normally they're on the same day but mine, I know they've squeezed in which is absolutely amazing and mine is actually at quarter past seven tonight on Zoom and I've been sent through some forms to fill out for myself to keep and chat through the forms with the psych on the Zoom call. You need to be somewhere quiet, somewhere where you feel really safe and you can be open and honest. This is everything to do with mental health and the way that you feel. I filled out my forms and they are sat ready for the Zoom call. It is now quarter past six, so I've got an hour until the Zoom, um, but I'll update you afterwards with how it went and what it was like. Okay, so it looks like I haven't changed at all, but I've just done my Zoom. I was on there for 45 minutes. Um, it is like an hour slot with the psych. Um, and yeah, I've been on this for 45 minutes. It was just lots and lots of questions about your upbringing, your family, your support, what to expect from the show, the downsides of what the show can bring, if you're worried about anything coming out, how ITV would support you, your previous past, your relationships, your work, just getting into detail on all those things. And yeah, she was really, really nice. So nothing to worry about if you're going through it and you're watching this video. Um, I don't even know if I'm posting this video. I don't even know why I just said that. But yeah, really, really nice. Um, really chill, really lovely, and I'm glad it's done. So now it is literally the waiting game. I just gotta wait now to get a call. And hopefully, hopefully I get the call and it's successful. The next clip will be the outcome. And I have no idea right now what this outcome's gonna be. Oh my Jesus. So I've just come off the phone. It is Wednesday the 26th of April. I was pooing myself. I've had two calls from ICB today and both about medical things. And I answered the phone both times thinking, this is it. I'm going to find it out. I'm going to get the news. Uh, both about medical. And then I've just had another call. And this was like, we got some good news. I was like, tell me. Um, she couldn't kind of say what, but I basically just found out that I'm going to the next and final stage, basically. Um, everything's been going well. They've pitched their potential islanders. She said that they really like me, which is amazing, and that they would like me to go to press day. If I'm right in thinking, kind of only the originals do their intro and their photos on the press day. So in my head, I'm like, I could be an original. This is my dream. Like, I'd love to be an original on the show. Like, that is the position that I'd absolutely love. So they're booking me in for my press day. So I need to get in shape, get a tan and get ready. Like I said, it's now the 26th of April and they're doing the press day in like two weeks. So I need to like plan, 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 just in case. She obviously said like, it's not 100%, but you're in a really good position. They really like you. We'd love to get you for the press day um, and my availability of flying out. 
my availability of flying out to Mallorca. And she said the dates, the earliest dates that the islanders, the first islanders go on. And I was like, yeah, I'm free. I can be free then. I can't believe it. Like this close, like, oh, I could get let down. I really could. So I'm trying not to like get too excited. On the phone, I was like, I'm just trying to keep my cool. She was like, yeah, make sure you keep your cool. Like, but you're in a really good place. I was like, she said it about five times. Like, I think this is positive. So yeah, I'm just going to get ready and hope for the best now. I feel like the next time I might see you, I might have more news. It might be press day. I just don't know. Maybe I know my position on the show by then. I just don't know. Like everything is really up in the air and like you just can never settle on what's going on because it can always change and when I've watched videos on past islanders like they were told they was an original and then it got changed or they didn't find out until the day before and stuff like that so open mind very positive they're booking me in for press day so I need to get I need to get ready. Okay, hello, I feel sick. So it is now Wednesday the 10th of May. I am looking like this. I have just been to the gym, to the sunbed, sweaty, moisturizery, greasy, cold sorry. Never had a cold sorry in my life. Why does it wanna come along now? But it's the 10th of May and I haven't heard anything in a while. And I say in a while, it's because everything was so fast paced. Feels like it's been a while. King's coronation, bank holidays, all that jazz, it's been a while. So sleepless nights and I got a call today at the gym. So I got a call and it was like, hi Molly, um, potential press day for you on Friday. I know we said that you can kind of forget those dates and we can do yours out on location, but we are potentially going to want you on Friday. Are you still free? I was like, yes, yes, yes. I was in the gym, literally just like, Jodie was still doing that leg press and I was literally in the corner of the room like, I was just like, amazing, cool. She was like, well, we'll let you know if it is confirmed, but just see if you're free. I was like, oh my goodness. So there's still potential of me going and doing my press day. It's amazing. Then just got undone my leg press. Ring, 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 ring. Apple Watch, I'm like, oh. Another call from ITV, it's literally like 10 minutes later. And it's to say, hi Molly, 100% confirmed for Friday, we'd love you to come to London to do your press shots. And I was like, oh my goodness, like literally like, what? Because this again has brought the excitement of like, original, like I could be an original. Who knows, who knows, not, not thinking about it too much, as we know things can change. But got excited, 100%, so I'm going on Friday. Then, go back, do a bit more, get another call. This is just asking if I can have another psych, so another mental checkup tomorrow at quarter past six. Basically, I think they just do a checkup for everyone just a bit close to the time to see how they're feeling, if anything's changed, and if they need to update them on. I was like, yeah, perfect, amazing. Then me and Jodie go for some food, we go to Frankie and Benny's, get another call. This is to say, oh, you know our look, um, they're actually strikes, train strikes on Friday. I was like, oh my God, seriously? So we'd like you to come tomorrow so you can stay over in a hotel tomorrow night so we can have you on Friday for your press. And I was like, oh, thank the Lord. I was like, my angels are listening. My angels are listening. I was like, absolutely amazing. I was like, I'll be there. I said, I'll travel tonight if you need me to get there for Friday. Like, I will be there. She was like, amazing. She was like, we'll keep you updated with your traveling hotel and your trains and all that jazz. And then they were saying that their current idea is for my openers. So my opener, they're looking to film on Monday, Tuesday next week. They said they'll travel me back to London um, on Monday, Tuesday. So I don't have to stay over type of thing. Like I can come back and forth. It'll be either Monday or Tuesday to shoot my openers. And that is when you leave your old job behind and you're walking into the villa. Without saying it, that's what they're kind of saying, I hope. And they're just like, our idea at the minute is that we have you on a stage and you're taking your bow like the end of a theatrical performance and you're walking into the villa. And I was like, love it, absolutely love it. So she said, if you have any sparkly showbiz outfits, anything sparkling glitter, send it over by TV. So I did, I sent loads of options of sparkly outfits over to her and yeah, she's gonna let me know if any of them have been chosen or if they're gonna have to get another costume or blah, blah, blah. Then I actually go to the sunbed and to get another call. This is two of the people from ITV on the phone, just like, can't wait to see you on Friday. We'll send you over the things tomorrow. Um, bear in mind it's Wednesday now, so tomorrow I need to get like all the information to go tomorrow night to stay over for Friday. It's literally like, and I've got this call saw. Like, if this actually happens and this video goes out, like, I literally don't know if it's going to happen, but if this video goes out and you guys see this and you see that I had a call saw on the day, then this is why 
That's really weird. Yeah, I had the last call and they were like, can't wait to see you, make sure you bring a lot, like bring everything, bring loads of outfits, like you're going on a date, for your VT. And she said, your favorite bikinis, if you could just send over photos of your favorite bikinis, the ones that you'd want to wear on your press photos. And if they get approved, then you can wear that one. If not, they do have a stylist there and they will be like, you know, mix matching, see what works and what doesn't. So I've literally raided my room and there's bikinis everywhere. I got bikinis and summer clothes out of the garage and I just literally tipped my room upside down. It's never a mess and it's a mess right now. She said it'll be a long day. She would send me pictures of in everything so they can kind of see. So looking like this on the top half with bikinis on is what I've sent the photos like. They're gonna be like, oh my Jesus, where did you get her from? So that's kind of the update and I can't believe it. I'm literally about to have a cup of tea because it is now 20 past 10 because I got home at like eight and I've just been like rushing around trying to find bikinis. So I've got malted milks in my pocket ready to have a cup of tea. But let me just show you my room because you'll actually understand what I mean when I say it's been tipped upside down with sparkles, bikinis, my gym bag and my sunbed stuff when I literally got in clean clothes from downstairs. I've tipped it upside down just to find the right things. Who knows, this might be the outfit I wear. We literally don't know right now. Half of the bikinis might be the ones that I have on my press shots. We do not know. Oh, my love, I have a water bottle there. Why is that there? Oh, that was a sign, oh my God. So yeah, I really need to like glow myself up a bit knowing that I've got tomorrow. Maybe I need to put my nails in. Do I need to put my nails in? So maybe the next time of date you might be actually press day. Who knows? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Good morning guys, it is press day. Oh my goodness. I'm in a hotel in London and it's now seven o'clock and I've got to leave for my press day. I can't believe I'm overwhelmed. I've come out in a load of stress spots. I'm just like, not today. But you know what, embrace it. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be absolutely fine. I'm gonna love my pictures, I'm gonna have a great day and it won't stop me. I'm literally heading to the studios in a tracksuit, which they said, you know, just throw in a tracksuit because I'll be getting changed all day. Like literally thinking about like the photos that I get taken today and like anything I say today is gonna be what everyone sees. Like this bikini I wear today is the one that everyone sees. Like what? <sighs> Wish me luck. Okay, hi everyone. So today it is Sunday the 14th of May. Um, my press day was on the 12th of May. And I did say, try and update you throughout the day, but let me tell you the whole day was non-stop. My phone wasn't even on me, like someone had my phone. There was not a second to even breathe. From eight o'clock to about five o'clock, it was just non-stop. It was literally amazing. I had the best day ever. Like. I can't even say like how special I felt. I said to everyone, I was like, I feel so special today. Like, this is amazing. Like, I've never had anything like this done for me. Like, it was just unbelievable. So as you know, press day is where you get your VT filmed. You do all the fun things, the inflatables, or like your intros, your photos, ready for like the press. And you just do all of the fun stuff. It was just surreal. So I'll give you a little bit of an insight into what the day went like, things I got up to, obviously the things I can't say. And yeah, I'll just give you a little bit of an insight. So I got there um, and everyone had like mics on. It was like literally MI5, like everyone was so secretive. Um, I had to be a different name for the day just so people didn't find out like who I was or like, yeah, I was, I think I was Megan for the day. And I even walked in some rooms and I was literally like, ah, what's my name in here? Like I asked the chaperone with me, I was like, who am I in here? They're like, Megan, I was like, I'm Megan, nice to meet you. It was so weird. So first went into costume and that's where there was like loads of rails of like bikinis and outfits and stuff like that. So I opened up my case because I took two big cases full of outfits, full of bikinis and options. And we basically just took photos in loads of them and found the one that the producers, exec producers wanted me to wear. So I'm trying on things, like I'm even in the wardrobe area, like getting changed. And there's like a pair of jeans and a top and like, that was somebody else's like on this day they were like the other islanders like walking around the building but it was like as they walked down the corridor like you wait in that room and like can we hold mm for like two more minutes while we move blah 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 along the corridor i was like that is some guy's jeans and top in there like how weird after costume i went down to glam and then i got my hair and makeup done i felt so special like i'm literally getting my hair done it looked beautiful i got my makeup done my makeup like wasn't my usual makeup it was really glam for me um 
but I loved it and I felt really like special and glam and like very Love Islandy. So after glam, they told me the outfits that they had agreed on and I put my little pink dress on and I went and did my VT. So in here, it was just all the neon signs, all of the Love Island backgrounds and the seat in the middle where you sit and you're just like, hi, I'm Molly, I'm 21. Loads of cameras, loads of people around. Um, and it was crazy, like someone would be touching up my makeup, someone would be sweating on my hair, someone's rubbing body glow on me, someone's asking about this jewellery. It was just blah 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 like on 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 did not stop I sat down and did my vt just talking to camera this is just like a normal conversation and they will just snippet that into like a minute worth of your vt did that and then i went and did like the shots like in the middle dancing so i'm just dancing around the camera's panning around blowing kisses this all came really natural to me with like, with like my performing and my social media I was just kind of used to it and I kind of just knew exactly what to do and just how to kind of work the camera. So, loved doing that. It was like, what music do you want? And I was like, McFly, Surfer Babe. It is my song. I absolutely love it. They whacked it on and they're like, woo, dancing in the middle. It was so fun. I get into my bikini and do the same thing. So, I'm dancing around in the bikini and then they're like, we ride the flamingo. There was a massive blow up flamingo. I'm like, of course, I'm on it. I'm like, wow, it was so fun. And then they're throwing beach balls at me. I tried to whack them like, Right now, I'm doing all these things and I'm like, oh my goodness, like everyone's going to see this. But like, still that percent like chance that this might not even happen. Like, I'm getting so excited and loving the day, but also like this might fall through. Like, let's not get too excited. So right now, even speaking to you guys, I don't even know if like you'll see this. Like, I have no idea. So I did all the inflatable stuff and then they're like, right, go and change into your other bikini and we'll bring the swing in. I'm like, the swing? This swing comes from the ceiling, comes down, it's flowered, it's beautiful, and I'm literally swinging on it. Blowing kisses to camera, lean back, so my hair's flowing, like, it was so fun. I was like, this is amazing. I'm literally in at my element. So I did all of those shots, which was really fun, um, and then I went through to, I've got notes on my phone because it was such a long day. I got on the train and I was like... I don't even know what's happened today. Then I went through to photos. So I put both bikinis on again and I got the photos done. So photos like near a plane wall for like when they morph it onto like the cast picture. Um, morph, Photoshop. Then ones near like the love sign, all different like angles, posing, sat on some steps, loads of different photos. And that was again, really natural for me. It comes with social media and taking photos on the daily. I absolutely loved that. And then I went through to digital and that was where we did like some TikToks and some reels and some fun things like that. Um, so like it's batch content ready for when I suppose you're in the villa. It was like truth or dare, um, five essentials that you want to take on holiday with you, like stuff like that. And I went to podcast where it's for like people who are deaf and blind or disability and you are basically just explaining yourself so I was in like a podcast room and it was like hi I am Molly Marsh I am white British I'm female I'm a petite build I'm blonde brown eyes you get the gist then I went through to the commercial area where it's like the brand partners of the show so speaking through the brand partners so Subway being a big sponsor this year Boots Jet 2 Vibe Holidays Emmy the cafe um coffee drinks and at this point I had to like circle like my favorite beauty products at Boots um things at Boots that I couldn't live without in the villa um my favourite scent, perfume, um, hair products that I would need in the villa. And it was like really in-depth things. I was like, oh my goodness, like this is crazy. Like they're like doing this to see like the majority of supply that they need to bring into the villa. Um, talking through brands and sponsors, blah, blah, blah. Then I go to press. Um, oh, I missed out a main bit. Within the brands and commercials room, there's a massive eBay section. So there's rails and rails of eBay. Um, two people from eBay was there and they basically like walked you through all the rails. You pick out the things that you'd like and you'd want to wear, things that are not your style, just so they can get a little idea of your fashion sense. So I'm walking through and everything I'm picking out is bright, colourful, unique, different. Not just a long black dress, not just a brown ruffle mini skirt, like, all things I'm picking out are out there, bright blazers, ruffle, orange dress, like really cool things. So they got a vibe of my style really quickly. I was trying things on and they were saying, right, we can bring that to Mallorca for you. And um, what are your sizes so we can plan your wardrobe? And it was just like, this is so real. And again, you felt so special, like your wardrobe, like, then I went through to press and this is where I knew this team. So this was the team that I met out on the press trips, which was just incredible. So it was lovely to see them again. And this was talking about like the reality of press and the negativity and the likelihood of like journalists contacting your family and just kind of getting ready for 
interviews with press and just being aware of the negativity and then afterwards just saying that you'll get your debrief so once you are out of the villa you'll have a debrief of everything that's been said in the press everything negative everything positive so you know exactly what's been happening you're in the loop with what's been going on whilst you've been in there just a massive big press chat then lastly i went and seen the execs again so this was in another room um and it was lovely to see them again. They were basically just saying that I will find out my flights on Monday. Um, I've got my opener booked for Tuesday. So they've booked me a theatre in London, which is just amazing, to go and film my opener. So that's where you leave your old job behind and you're walking into the villa. So yeah, they've booked me a theatre, the Lyric Theatre on Tuesday. And they want me tap dancing. So at the moment, I've just prepared a tap routine. I'm getting some like glittery glam costumes together. And yeah, on Tuesday, I'll be filming my opener, which is like unreal because that is original. And my dream would to be an original. So fingers crossed, all goes as planned. Like the exec said, like you have to stand by. You're not in the villa until you step foot in the villa. So I'm just telling myself that I'm not getting too excited, but as it goes right now, I think I'm an original. So yeah, it is now obviously Sunday. So tomorrow I'm gonna find out my flights. And then Tuesday I go and film my opener, so it's, it's just mental. But everything I filmed on the day, I absolutely loved it. But it's one of those things where, like, I said so many positive things. I said so many things that was, like, maybe a bit negative about myself. I was just really open, and it's like you have no idea what's going to be shown. So you are, like, trusting them with everything. But I feel like me and my friends and family know me better than anybody, so I shouldn't kind of, like, be worried about that. But I can just see the clips right now. Like, I'm thinking back to the things I was doing, and I'm just like, Oh my goodness. I was walking around the whole day in a toweled robe with some crocs that they'd given me. I was like, can I come here every day? The hair and makeup team were lovely. The costume lady who was doing like, helping me all day with like tape taping my bikinis. I was riding this something and she was like, hold on a minute, let me go and sort her out. I was like, thank you so much. She was literally an angel. And like, I've got the bikinis here and the heels from the press day. They're like, you need to take them home, wash them and bring them out to New York with you. I'm like, this is happening. So as you can imagine, it was a very overwhelming day. It was a surreal day that if anyone's watching this, I don't even know if this video is going out, it's so weird. If anyone's watching this right now and I was on the show and you're watching this as like seeing x islanders journeys well that's really weird to say then it's the best day ever and you will absolutely love it just be confident be yourself and just do go along with anything they say they even asked me to sing my highest pitch note and i was like and i was i had a moment of embarrassment but i was like molly just do it i was just like ah! i was like oh my god that was awful like I'm thinking, will that even get shown? You, you literally have no idea. Best day ever, and I think I'll probably update you tomorrow, hopefully, when I find out my flights. Okay, guys, I'm back in my same position. I have updates, and I haven't been able to bring you along just because it's been so crazy. Obviously, I'm not allowed to film, but I'm gonna update this video. Whether this video is for my memories or for people to watch, who knows? But yesterday, I was at my opener. So this is a day where I shot my leaving my old job behind and walking into the villa so the idea for my opener was i'm on a stage i'm doing a performance at the theater um or i'm auditioning and i take my bow i walk off the stage and that's me walking into the villa off topic but i've just bought the mac stack mascara and my lashes are looking so cool so i recommend i went to film my opener yesterday so i went down to london um it was actually a day there and back got there i went to the theater had my suitcase full of all my stuff got there picked out my outfit that i'm gonna wear for the day i took like four different sparkly glam outfits and they could choose then i basically just went on with a dance routine did a random little so and so there was actually two dancers with me and then two actors out front that were like being the casting directors or like the audience in this like theatre scenario so I taught the two girls a little bit of a dance that I kind of just remembered from college and we literally did it over and over and over again and the camera got different angles it got like me saying like thank you to the audience like bowing walking off licking my hair and we just did it over and over and yeah it was such a fun day and then after that I was on my way home and I actually got a call and it was from ITV and they were like hi Molly just kind of letting you know that there will be a story written about you tomorrow. The press have come forward with this story and they kind of found out that you're in the final stages. And I was like, oh my Jesus. I was like, oh no. Like, and I was just panicking thinking, is this gonna affect my process and everything I've been through? Is it gonna affect my position like potentially on the show? And I was just like panicking. He reassured me and he was like, 
not to worry about it it's not going to affect anything it happened to Gemma Owen last year and she still went on the show so kind of don't don't panic I was like thank you I needed that reassurance because I was so panicky and there is about seven different newspapers magazines publicity places online news articles about me going on the show so if I type in right now Molly Marsh Love Island it's crazy and I'm in like this has never happened to me before so this is the first time I've ever been like in the press about anything and it's surreal the amount of messages it's been ridiculous so I typed it in and straight away we have the Metro the Sun Gossy, The Tab, The Mirror, OK Magazine, Birmingham Live, Daily Mail, all at the top on stories about me going into the villa and the headlines really make me laugh. Love Island bosses eyeing up actress with mum who appeared in Corrie. So mum is obviously gassed by that. Mum has done some like small roles like a nurse, a policewoman in like Coronation Street and soaps and stuff. So it's making it sound like she's this like A-list actress and it's so funny. The Sun was Love Island bosses set sight on stunning actress with soap star mum for new summer series of Love Island. Another one is Meet the Third Rumoured contestant for the summer series of Love Island. TikTok star Molly Marsh is the latest rumoured Love Island 2023 contestant. Love Island lineup actress with soap star mum for upcoming series. Love Island sign up panto actress with soap star mum for 2023 summer series. Love Island in talks with ITV Coronation Street star's daughter for 2023 series. So it made me giggle and one of the first things I read was Molly, 24. I'm 21! So straight away it can just show how things can get muddled up and facts don't get right. But nothing's confirmed yet. So, I mean, it's all very positive. Everything within there is really positive. And it's about the shows I've done in the past that I've been on the last press trip. It does say that something about getting scouted from the press trips. And I've been through the whole application process. Like, it hasn't been an easy ride for me. But they make it sound like I've just been, like, picked off the press trip and, like, thrown in. Like, here you go. It's not been like that. As you guys have seen from this video. Yeah, 24. I'm 21. I mean... That's an easy fact to get right. Yeah, it's a bit surreal. I am just like, what is going on? So yeah, I'm still obviously waiting on my flights, but I'm just praying that this doesn't affect anything. But it's been crazy. So it is currently Wednesday the 24th of May. I don't know the last time I updated you. I think it was when I was gonna find out about flights. I don't know if I updated you. I can't actually remember. But I found out my flights and I found out Monday night and it's now Wednesday. So two days ago, Monday evening, got a text to say I'm flying. Early, early hours of Thursday. So I'm getting picked up tonight at 3 a.m. So it's been hectic. I'm so stressed, overwhelmed every single emotion in the world i've cried i want to scream i want to laugh i don't even know so i was overweight on my cases i was 31 kg in both of them and they're meant to be 22 but we've just now decided we'll put an extra case in there i'll pay for an extra case and now they're all 22 so we've worked it out in the end mum and dad's come in to help me pack because stress levels have been here and then we went to china rose for a meal which was really nice and they got me a jelly cap, which was a cute little, I hate when I say clam. Is it it a is clam? a clam, but I cut an oyster. It's just posh. Because it's a pearl, and Molly's a pearl. Got that, but it's packed away, everything's packed now. Um, and I'm gonna do the last bit of my list. I meet my chaperone at summer at um, the airport. I'm flying from Leeds. And yeah, can't wait. But this is gonna be, I might update the end of this vlog when I wake up in the morning. Um, as a last little end into this video but yeah I don't see know you on the other side i updated you but yeah see you in the when morning. when you come back and you do this next you might have someone else sitting next to you <gasps> who is this person gonna be sat here <laughs> <Don't know. laughs> right maybe mm. see you in the morning okay good morning everyone it is 10 to 3 and i'm about to get picked up and go 
and the current state is me ready got my bag and shoes there everyone's awake the cases are outside oh oh my god i didn't even see you there hey cup of tea yeah quickly last actual yorkshire tea for maybe a week but it could be eight weeks <laughs> we'll soon find out but yeah this is over and out for this vlog this has been the update of the whole journey but i'm going now and my camera's gonna stay here Maisie is half dead Hey, Mom. Goodbye, Bye. everyone. We'll see you on the other side. Love you all.